hey youtube welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk about something that i researched when i was pregnant and i couldn't find any answers for and so i figured i would upload and make a video and talk about it so i lived in a room when i was pregnant and a little bit after so i didn't have the space luxury that um, some people do have and i couldn't buy a crib and a playpen so um i was like debating buy a crib or just buy a playpen then finally i came to my senses and i was like you know what i'm just gonna buy a playpen one it was cheaper two i was gonna get use out of it and three it was portable a lot of infants don't even use their crib sometimes they sleep with their parents so i knew that even if he didn't sleep in it i was just gonna use it as a regular playpen on top of that like i said um it was portable so when i stay stay the night at my parents house or he stays the night with his grandparents I can just take it with me so it just folds up and everything like that so it was perfect and this playpen came with the bassinet as well it's the Graco one and it comes with the bassinet and the bassinet's about this big and it has a little device on it my son was playing with it earlier. oh it had this little device with a light and music and tripping noises and a timer for the light um, that just hooks on to it with a, of course, like a little, all those, little chime so that they could look at. Um, and it also vibrated so that it mimicked like a car kind of thing. And um, he used it all the way up till he was six months, the bassinet. And it was pretty low, um, but it wasn't a problem for me because I only have a box spring and a mattress anyway. So um, it was perfect. Uh, I used it all the way up until he was six months and then finally now he sleeps in there and that he's eight months um, He sleeps in there. He plays in there. Of course during the day. I put a bunch of toys in there and he plays in there then um, I let him crawl around around the house and then um, At night I take the toys out and I put him in there and he goes to sleep. I even use the changing table as well and um, I now hook this onto there so that I can see him at night and it plays little music. A lot of people um, put an extra mattress pad in there. I don't, and the reason why is because I'm scared of him suffocating. He already sleeps on his face, so I don't wanna put that in there. And even though it seems a little bit less uncomfortable than the mattress pad that it does come with, it's better to be safe than sorry, and he doesn't seem to have a problem with it. He sleeps all the way up till 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, so it's it's perfect he sleeps all night in it so I don't see that he's having any trouble or anything like that and yeah I think it's perfect like I said it's portable and I use the bassinet and I use basically everything in it so um, I thought it was a really good investment and um, the crib was it had its it had its cons basically it wasn't travel it wasn't I wasn't able to travel with it um, another thing is is I like the playpen, I can just push it wherever, and I can I can um, watch him. It's not heavy to push. It has little wheels at the bottom, and I could push it into the kitchen and watch him if I wanted to. The crib, I can't move. It's heavy. And I, I honestly think he can pretty much only play, uh, not, uh, ugh. he can pretty much only sleep in it and not play in it. I'm sorry. He can only um, sleep in it. And um, I don't know, I just, I felt like it, it wasn't going to be something that um, I got much use out of and um, it was more expensive so I chose a playpen another thing that I just purchased and um, I really like it um, like in my last video I talked about compact spaces and I live in a compact space so that was definitely one of the reasons why I bought the playpen and there is another product that I wanted to show you guys that I invested in and I really enjoy it um, is this booster I didn't purchase a high chair any my son eats food now but I didn't want to get a high chair because like I said I don't have much room so a high chair would just take up more space and since I have a table with chairs I was like hmm you know, maybe I should just get one of those things that hook onto the chair so that he could just sit on the chair. And this was perfect. It's a booster and you tie them in and it ties onto the chair and you basically could just use the chair as a high chair. And I thought it was perfect and I've been using it and it's absolutely great. Plus you could just fold it up and take it wherever you gotta go and 
he could use it on any chair. So it's just portable. And as they get older, and they no longer need like kind of like the height thing, you could take the booster out. Oh, that's it, that's it. You can <laughs> take the booster out. So that's perfect. It lasts all the way up until they're two and a half years old. And let me see the weight. Um, and the weight, 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 weight. It says it can last all the way up until they're two years old. Where's the weight? Okay, I have no idea where the, um, it just says nine months and up, which is about when they start eating anyway. Let me see. It doesn't have a weight thing. It basically just says up until two and a half years old, so. Um, but I like it. It's called The First Years, and I will link it in the, uh, the, the description below. Um, I think I only paid 15 bucks for it. It's pretty cheap, and I got it at Target online. So that is something that was definitely worth the money for. And those are the two products that I definitely wanted to talk about. And like I said, I really wanted to talk about my Graco playpen. Kind of like why I got it. Because like I said, I researched it when I was pregnant and I didn't find any answers. And um, like I said, if you live in a compact space... <laughs> What are you doing if you live in a compact space you really have to um look into things and see what works for you like even this um, walker right behind me it folds down all the way flat and you could put it underneath like a bed or me i just put it underneath my dresser but you can just put it down and it basically gets out of the way i don't have it like that right now because um i don't know why i don't have it like that right now because he doesn't even use it he doesn't like the walker but it folds down, and I didn't buy it, but I really like it because it does fold down, and a lot of walkers don't. They just stay like that when you put them together, so it kind of sucks. But that one is actually, like, it folds down, and it's portable. So I really like that one. Um, and that one's by Safety First, I believe. So those are the th actually three products that I wanted to talk about. And like I said, I didn't purchase, I didn't even purchase the Graco uh, playpen. My dad bought it for me for my baby shower. And so, um, my friend's mom bought me the walker, and like I said, it came with the bassinet, the changing table, and, um, of course the playpen, and I've gotten really good use out of it. This I purchased on my own, and I really like it. So yeah, that's what I really wanted to talk about, um, give a little insight about, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about something that... I researched when I was pregnant and I couldn't find any answers for and so I figured I would upload and make a video and talk about it. So I lived in a room when I was pregnant and a little bit after so I didn't have the space luxury that um, some people do have and I couldn't buy a crib and a playpen. So um, I was like debating buy a crib or just buy a playpen. Then finally I came to my senses and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy a playpen. One, it was cheaper. Two, I was going to get use out of it. And three, it was portable. A lot of infants don't even use their crib. Sometimes they sleep with their parents. So I knew that even if he didn't sleep in it, 